This is a series of lectures on three-dimensional optical illusions for those who stay home. So today's topic is the anti-gravity slopes. Here we have a structure with two slopes. And when we put a ball on these slopes, it behaves like that. In this slope also, the ball looks like rolling uphill against the gravity. This behavior of the ball is called anti-gravity slope illusion. Actually, the ball should go downhill according to the gravity and <clears throat> the apparent direction of the ball into the uphill is just an illusion. Let's consider why this illusion happens. There are several reasons. The first, this scene is illuminated by a special illumination. If turn off that light, the scene looks like that. Note that the gray level of the supporting columns are different. Some are bright, some are dark. Um, we understand the orientation of the surface from light illumination. And so this suggests that columns are extended in different directions. In order to hide this fact, we have we put the special illumination condition so that our planes think that the columns are extended in the um, same direction. And the next reason is that you are looking at an image taken by a camera. A camera has only one lens center, and so to take a picture by a camera is equivalent to see an object by a single eye. We have two eyes, and so when we see the object directly, we can understand true depths from the slight difference between the right image and the left image. But if we are looking at an image taken by a camera, that kind of depth information is lost. We have to imagine the depths by our planes. So even if we feel that we are extracting the depth image from the depth information from the image, it's not true. It's just a result of our brain's imagination. And the third reason is that our brain likes rectangular angles. If we rotate the object like that, we understand that columns are extended in different direction. Some extend in one direction, some extend in the other way. But from this initial viewpoint, all the four columns look like parallel. And so our brains, who likes light angles, imagine that all the four columns stand uh, perpendicular. The four columns are perpendicular to the disk surface. And so the long column support high higher part, and short column support lower part. That is what our planes case. From this viewpoint, we understand the true orientation of the slopes, and so we understand that the ball behaves uh, naturally according to its gravity. But from this initial viewpoint, we perceive the orientation of the slope opposite to reality. 
this is the main reasons why anti-gravity slope illusion occurs. Using the same column trick, we can construct various types of anti-gravity slope structures. Here we have three slopes supported by the columns. And if we put the ball here, the ball looks like rolling uphill, rolling uphill, and rolling uphill again. Let me try again. The ball behaves like that. The ball is just rolling downhill. We can understand this by changing our viewpoint. The columns are extended in different directions, but from this viewpoint, all the columns look like parallel, and so our brains assume that the columns are perpendicular to the disk surface. And the long column support the higher part, and short column support the lower part. That is what our brain guesses. Let me show one more example, which also creates strong illusion. The center looks like highest, but when we put balls on the four slopes, the ball behaves like that. It looks like going uphill. But the <coughs> Because of these behaviors of the balls, we did not understand that the center is lowest. This is the anti-gravity slope illusion. Let me summarize the reasons. First, we are looking at an image taken by a camera, and so that is equivalent to looking at the object by a single eye, and the depth is lost, and we have to imagine the depth by our brains. And in this environment, our brains like rectangularity, and so the brains try to guess these 3D structures, which contains as many as light angles. And thirdly, we project the illumination in a special way so that the actual direction of the columns are less visible. Because of those mm, conditions and factors, we have anti-gravity slope illusion. And this kind of anti-gravity slope illusion arises in our daily life also. This is a load of Yashima driveway in Kangawa Prefecture, Shikoku Island, Japan. There are two slopes, and the nearer slope looks like a downhill, and the further slope looks like and uphill. However, the truth is that the all the slopes are uphill. The nearer slope looks like a downhill from here, but it's really an uphill. Please note that uh, this slope is not supported by its columns. So we understand that even if there is no columns, supporting columns, we have similar illusion of anti-gravity slope. So we understand that the columns are not necessary in order to create this anti-gravity slope illusion. 
so let's go back to our small model and let's consider what happens if we remove the columns from this structure does the illusion disappears or does the illusion remains the illusion does not disappear even if we remove the columns let's see this this is a structure of the four slopes uh, from which the columns are removed but still from this angle we feel that the center is highest let's rotate it by 180 degrees then we feel that the center is lowest the center looks like highest and the center looks like looks like lowest the same object object has two interpretations but true shape is just flat it's not uh, <coughs> the undulated structure it's just a planar flat structure so even if there's no columns supporting the slopes we have similar illusions i think that the reason is that also the uh, because of the human preference of light angles when we see these structures our brains assume that it's a, a crossing of four load in light angles and uh, <coughs> so the if it looks like this we guess that it's lowest the center is lowest and uh, so the anti-gravity slope illusion comes from the human preference of light angles interpretation those images have no depth information and our brains try to interpret the structure with as many light angles as possible that is the main reasons for this anti-gravity motion illusion but when we see this object directly by our two eyes we understand true shape however if we make this structure very large and see it from far distant away we have similar illusion even if we see it from two eyes this is a snow slope made in Niigata prefecture Japan and the hole is a square of 12 meter by 12 meter large and we are looking at this object from about 20 meters distance and in this case we have illusion even if we see the object by our two eyes actually the um, children are sliding downhill but they look like sliding uphill this is a, another view of the same structures the children are sliding downhill naturally according to the blood thank you very much